Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. The lookbook theme is the color lavender. So I'll be showing you three different coordinates with lavender as the main inspiration. Now I have just been really into lavender in the last year or so, but I also chose it specifically to match a beautiful necklace that I was gifted from Loveliness Studio. They were really kind to send me one of their necklaces and also a pair of their earrings. Since I mainly wear necklaces in Lolita, that's what I'll be showing with my coordinates today. So as a bonus, you can think of this video as three coordinates with one necklace. I do want to mention that I have a code for you to use in the description below if you want to order from Loveliness Studio. I really encourage you to check them out either way. They're a small business and they hand make beautiful polymer clay jewelry as well as some other creations like crochet flowers and things like that. And they're based out of Australia. As you know, as Lolitas, um, sometimes there's a lot of bias around our name and our fashion. And I'm really grateful to see Loveliness Studio supporting not only me, but other Lolita content creators. And their, and their creations are honestly just gorgeous. They're perfect for Lolita with the amount of detail and the beautiful quality to them. And there's obviously so much love put into the brand. I mean, just the packaging that I got is absolutely amazing. So let's get right into the coordinates and thank you again to Loveliness Studio. So here's the coordinate that you just saw me in, in the intro, and I chose to use my one actual lavender main piece to start, and that's jewelry jelly. And to really make the lavender stand out, I wanted to coordinate it with all white. Of course, there are a couple of lavender accents still, the wrist cups, the ring, and the shoes, but I wanted, you know, to balance all of that out with white. So I have this white canate, from AP and same thing for the blouse and the socks. They're also from and are pretty. Now I have four white blouses to choose from, but I went with this one specifically because there's a bit more detail with the lace and the bow and the jabot. I felt it matched the canate a bit better since that one does have those lace details as well. And I think that with this kind of busier neckline, the necklace sits on top of it really nicely. And I really like how the bright lavender of the necklace pops out against the white of the blouse. If I could change one thing about this coordinate, it's honestly that I wish I had like lavender lace top socks instead of uh, pink lace top socks or just white lace. But this is what I had and these are my go-to white socks. So I went with that. Voice over time because there was a lot of noise coming from my neighbors for some reason. But for this cord, last one was white with lavender and this is the reverse. So even though we don't have a lavender main piece, everything else is lavender except for the shoes, of course. And I added some floral hair clips because I think they go nicely with memorial cake. Picking the pieces for this coordinate was pretty straightforward. I just tried to match my lavenders and since Memorial Cake, I normally associate with spring, I decided to do something I think a little bit more uh, warm and cozy. So not for spring since we're still in winter and it makes me a bit sad to think of spring. Now you can see that the necklace is not layered over the blouse this time. It's actually under the collar, which means it's not as visible. But what I like about this is that it adds a small pop of color in a place that you wouldn't normally expect. Since the bear is sort of a pale beige like a cookie, I think it draws a bit of color to this empty spot on the blouse where there's normally just buttons. And it's just a fun little detail that isn't necessarily obvious at first glance. And what I really like about this necklace is that even though it's very detailed in terms of quality and the thought put into it, it's not overwhelmingly busy and I think you could pair it well with either an OTT cord or a more regular toned down one and I think this is a regular cord and it suits it quite well.
for today's last coordinate, of course, I decided to mix lavender and white with a few like rainbow accents since Toy Fantasy just has so many colors in it. But mainly I also wanted to do like a bear theme. So obviously the necklace is a little teddy bear swinging on a waffle. So cute. I love that concept. But I wanted to pull from that and match it with some other bear themed accessories. So mainly this little headdress that's from a Taobao brand and also this little brooch that's a bear and this is from a uh, Simi. Now the other detail of this coordinate is that I knew that the shoes would not match this turtleneck so I decided to add these darker purple hair bows that match the shoes much better, balance them at the top and the bottom. Also, I think a turtleneck is a really good choice if you want to feature a necklace in a cord. You have a high collar, but you normally have like a very open surface in terms of blouse space, while a lot of blouses have collars and lace and detailed buttons. With turtlenecks, you're not going to have something that's as busy. And as you can see, the necklace just lays really nicely against the turtleneck and I find it features it quite well. You can really see all the different details, the different colored beads and pearls and gold chain. And of course, like I said, the cute teddy bear. But yeah, since it's so cute for the last cord, obviously since it's so cute for the last cord, I thought turtleneck would be perfect. You would really be able to see the necklace with that. Okay, that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which your favorite cord was and also maybe what your go-to color is right now for coordinates in Lolita. I want to say a big thank you again to Loveliness Studios for gifting me this beautiful necklace and earrings. And you can use my code Lolita Love, all one word, and a capital L on Lolita for 15% off your order at their store. I'll leave it in the comments below. This is my first time working with a brand and when I tell you that when I saw their jewelry, I absolutely fell in love with it. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that I included last year and this year as a goal to collect more jewelry. And a lot of you have said the same or that you struggle with coordinating jewelry. So I really hope this video can help you. And I really hope that you can use Loveliness Studios as a resource for your beautiful Lolita jewelry collection. That's all for now. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye. Just some box ASMR. Mm -hmm.